Hello, Composition 2. So for the foreseeable future, we're going to be doing what is being commonly called distance learning. So basically, class will be online. So I wanted to give you brief instructions on what to expect from Composition 2. So obviously, here's our class. You know, these are prior things we have done. But from here on out, I'm going to be posting two weeks worth of assignments at a time. So this folder will be available um, starting basically today, in case you want to get a jump start. But again, school doesn't really resume until next Monday. And then it will be um, available until April 10th at 11.59 p.m. On Friday at midnight, this folder will disappear, and the next two weeks worth of units will be published the next Monday morning. So you have that weekend off. It is really important that you turn in your assignments on time because once this disappears, you cannot turn in late work. You have two weeks to complete this, and I'm not trying to overload you. This is plenty of time, so make sure you get your stuff done on time. If there is some extend, extenuating circumstances, um, email me, let me know, and we'll figure it out. So here's what you have to do right now. So here's our notes that we took. Okay. Here is the discussion. So instead of putting it in the weekly discussions folder, I'm just going to put it in the folder that we're working on since, you know, these are all of our assignments for those two weeks. And then lesson one and lesson two. Now you'll see must complete. This is called student completion. So I can basically come in here and check and see how much you have done. Look at Aaliyah. Overachiever. Okay. So I can check that at any time. So basically what this means is when you go into lesson one, which you have to start with, you won't be able to do um, like the second thing until you do the first. So this is just the you know PDF of the story. So you can click here. Okay, it'll pop up here. You can also open it over here. Okay, so just in case, right over here, and that'll open it into a new tab, just like that. Okay, and then you can you know zoom or make it smaller, whatever makes it easy for you to read. All right. Now let's go back. So basically, your first week assignment is read the story. You can also listen to it and then complete the questions. If you click on this link, okay, it's going to take you to YouTube where I have recorded a video for you. Ah, make it stop. Okay. So. I follow along with it. You can also listen to it. Again, it's not required, but just an option available for you. So once you've read it, then complete the questions. Once you've completed lesson one, then you can get into lesson two, parent fiction to biography. So here's the three assignments. Here are all the links you will need to use. Okay, so when you're looking up her biography, lots of good links. And then I also, you, know, you need to read this one because this is about um, treatment of mental illness back in the 19th century and is very relevant to the story we are reading this week. Okay, again, the yellow all paper is one of my favorite stories. I know the language is just slightly older, but again, think about how the woman is being treated by her husband. How much agency does she have? Is there actually something wrong with her? Okay. Why is she at this house? What's interesting about the room she is staying in? So pay attention to those details, and I can't wait to see um, your responses. So that's basically it. So biographical criticism for the next two weeks, and then we will move on. Please let me know if you have any questions, and make sure you check updates. I will be posting things here. All right. Have a good one and make sure you stay safe and please wash your hands.